I wanted to share this with you guys because apparently there's a way. Now, now how many situations have you been in when you want to look like you, you're packing heat? And I'm not talking about a pistol or a gun. I'm talking in more important areas. There's this, this video apparently showcasing a way where, as a man, you can look like you're packing more heat. Look at this shit. I didn't watch the full thing yet, but look at this. They got a fucking pool in the si What kind of situation is this? A nigga is literally making a pocket. And they show you how to do it. They dead ass show you how to pull this thing together. Like, this is, I haven't seen this yet. This looks pretty easy to do, actually. Why? Is this something somebody would legit seriously do? Let me shut up. I'm just gonna. What the fuck? Yo! His dick is out! Oh, yeah, this is a joke. There's no way this is serious. Alright, bro. We need to talk. Where will you use this? I don't, I fail to see, because the thing is, I, I, get, I guess it's sort of similar to push-up bras. The truth will be revealed eventually. Good. The only reason why you wanna walk around, it's not, no, it's not the same. It's not the same as a push-up bra. Because the thing is, ladies, when they wear push-up bras, and it makes them look a little bit... <laughs> this nigga pulling his pants down is crazy. But when ladies wear push-up bras, you know, give themselves a little bit more fullness, right? They're not... They're, that's, that's, like, socially acceptable. Like, women with big boobs exist, you know? Men with big dicks exist, too, right? The difference is that one is far more egregiously over the top than the other. Like, big boobs... Are excuse like that, that's something that you see every day. You know, there's women out there with massive knockers. It's a thing that happens. But when you have something like that with a banana that's literally in your pants and it looks like your dick is hard 24/7, that's not. I don't think that's something that should be. Like if you're on the train, let's just say you're on the train and you're standing there and you're motherfucking trying to get it. Hold on, bear season came through. Thank you very much. You said remember thick bitches, wait thick thick niggas and anime titties. Well. D-Bangs also made this fire. Yo, I'm gonna check that out in a second, but hold on a second. You on the train, and you got this fucking banana in your pants. Shit long as fuck, thick as fuck, and it's in someone's face. You can't tell me that walking around with big tits is the same as walking around with a big ass, hard ass dick. Because if you walk around, what if you walk around kids with that thing, nigga? You look like you're aroused 24 seven. You could be sending the wrong message out to the wrong people, all right? Now, also, this has some other fuck-ups. What if you go to a party? Let's just say you're going to a party and you're packing, right? Maybe in certain situations, this would actually be kind of like a turn-on for some people. But very specific niche situations. So you're at the party. You're drinking. You're having a good time. Girls are coming up to you. They're feeling you. Even though I don't even think that would be the way it worked. Because it would be like, what the fuck? Why is his dick, <laughs> Why is his dick hard? What reason? Is this nigga aroused right now? He's got a ban- They don't know it's a banana, dog. The only thing they're thinking is you're turned on. Big boobs don't indicate your arousal levels. They're just big boobs. You're natural, you know, part of your body. You can't do anything about it. But when you are walking around looking like this, and you got an arm in your pants, Someone's going to think you're getting aroused at something fucked up. What if you're on the train and there's a kid? <laughs> what if there's kids on the train? But anyways, you're at this party and you're turned up. You're drinking. A girl comes up. She decides to back that ass up on you. She turns around, starts to make it twerk and all that. She starts to go in, right? This fucking banana in your pants. She backs it up a little too hard. Bam! Banana bust! And that's not just busting on you, but it's busting on the female that back that ass up on you. She walks away, turns around, she sees a wet spot in your pants from the banana bust. She touch her ass. There's wetness on her ass from it. 
you are getting escorted out of that spot by the police dog. You are looking like you just nutted on a woman. That's crazy to me. That's a possibility. The banana bust. She's not going to think it's a banana in that moment. Maybe she'll smell it and be like, why does this semen smell like fucking fruit? Maybe. You'll be lucky. But she's going to be approaching it from the perspective of this dude had a hard dick and he orgasmed while I was... And you see the wet spot, big as fuck. The cops coming in like, you fucking pervert, bring your ass out. You, 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 this, this, this ain't acceptable. That could happen. That's the one reason why I don't know. And there's plenty of other situations that I can imagine where walking around with a banana to imitate a hard penis isn't going to be beneficial to you.